Hey guys, Kat here, back for a review. I'm wearing my Hanson t-shirt, but you can't see it. Um, I would like to be filming in my lounge room where I've got natural light and it's just a bit more chilled and there's less setup. Um, but uh, it's very overcast, so we're gonna have to do deal with this uh, beauty news setup for a while, but that's all right. Uh, but today I'm doing a review of a new, newish highlighter range. Now this brand, was created by my friend Tanya, so I'm very proud of her, so go you good thing. Uh, Tanya is well known for highlighters, she's very glam, she does really like um, dark gorgeous eyes with really like long lashes and stuff and they are bringing out lashes soon. But she did bring out a brand called Charabella and uh, there's four highlighters in the range, so uh, she was very kind and sent me all four so I can play with them and I have used them and I have I've uh, been playing with them so I thought I'd review them but this is a box that it comes in so it's a silver box and you open it up it's like got nice uh, padding so the highlighter sits nicely so the actual packaging is very compact it's black uh, very sturdy packaging with the silver logo and then it's got the details at the back so you have um, that it's a pressed shimmer powder this particular shade is six um, and it's five grams and made in Canada. Uh, these are cruelty free um, and if you open it up you can see this one I have used quite a bit. Uh, this one is six so it's like a soft pink color um, and it's got a mirror in there as well so very very sturdy little packaging. So there are four shades of these. These are cruelty free. They ship internationally. Um, I will go through the shades in a second, but I also want to say that they're $29.95 Australian dollars uh, for five grams of product. Now these do look quite small um, and Tanya did say that she made them smaller because you can kind of take them traveling with you. You can put them in your makeup bag. Um, but also I find that you never get through a whole highlighter. So five grams is uh, like it will last you a very long time if you use it every single day it probably last you two years but in just comparison um, that's five grams uh, the Becca highlighters look much bigger but uh, they're seven grams so um, the pans look a lot bigger but I think these pans must be just a lot deeper um, because seven grams five grams so yeah. So these are triple milled highlighters as well. So they're very, very fine and they're supposed to not uh, emphasize skin texture. I find that's a big issue for me. I do have skin texture and um, really metallic highlighters do tend to um, emphasize that, which is very annoying. All right. So there are four shades, sort of two that are lighter, two that are sort of deeper. This one is probably the lightest. It's called Six. It's like a soft pink. Um, and then this one is Mia Bella, which um, I will have to get close up proper um, footage because this lighting doesn't show it the best. Um, but this is soft pink. This is a soft peach. I love this shade. It's really, really beautiful. Then we have Charlie's Glow, which is like a gold. And this is the one that Tanya pretty much, it's like her signature highlighter. And it definitely is the most intense in the range. Um, I do find that the intensity of them sort of vary from shade to shade. So if you want more of a um, bam highlighter, this is the one to go for if you like a gold. The others um, you can build up definitely, but they're not as intense just off the bat. Then we have Lumiso or Lumiso whatever, it's like a little bit darker version. So, so I'm not sure if you can see in this lighting, but compared to Charlie's Glow, it's just a little bit deeper, but it is definitely a bronzy gold. All right, I'm gonna insert some swatches here so you can see um, how they apply with a finger and also with a brush because, you know, that is helpful. You can see the color difference.
Um, Alright, so those are the swatches um, and I'm going to apply one of them on my face today because I don't have a highlighter on and I'm in need of a highlighter. Uh, I want to demonstrate Charlie's Glow because um, this is the one, like I said, that Tanya really loves. This is a really gorgeous one and it shows up like really beautifully. So when I'm sort of wearing more dramatic makeup like I am today, I really like something like this. Um, but if I'm wearing softer makeup, I, I personally really love Mia Bella, which is that sort of soft peachy color. It's really, really gorgeous. I might apply this on one cheek and then this on the other cheek so you can see how they compare. All right, we're going to start with Mia Bella. These are very, very, very soft. All right, we ready? So you can see that it does definitely apply highlighter. Um, there's no ifs or buts about that. And this one's like a nice, soft, sort of peachy, more champagne color. But it's not like, it's not extreme. Like it looks more like a wet finish, which is gorgeous. And like I said, if you're a bit fairer, this is a really nice color to go for. This is a slightly warmer one than six, which is a little bit more cooler toned and pink. Um, I really love this one, but just wait until you see Charlie's Glow. Okay, are we ready for it guys? Are we ready for it? So it's got the same sort of texture and finish, but for some reason this is just a lot more metallic. I just think it's the pigments that they've used. It's a lot more like glowy and gorgeous and this is, I don't know, whenever I wear this I feel glam as fuck. Like it's so, look at it, like glowy. This one is beautiful and soft. It's still a highlighter, but bam. So <laughs> this one is, this one is particularly good. Like I love this formula. I kind of wish they all had this sort of really intense formula, but I reckon it's just the color that sort of just picks up the light a bit better. But yeah, if you want a highlighter that is really flattering, like it, it does emphasize a little bit of skin texture, but not much. Um, it's quite a flattering highlighter and if you want just that glow, I find that this, even though it's a gold, um, I've got quite light skin. I'm quite light at the moment because it's cooler weather, um, but this works really, really nicely because it doesn't add much color. It just adds that sort of glow to the cheeks, which is stunning. Stunning Tanya, it's stunning. So I think Tanya's done a really good job with these. I like the size because I'm all for having more highlighters and less of it. So you can have different highlighters as you go, um, but you're not stuck with these massive highlighters that you know are gonna go off before you ever even attempt to use them up. So I think the size is really nice. I think this is nice and compact. There's no extra bulk. The packaging seems like really sturdy. So I think she's done a really good job. Um, I have to say that Charlie's Glow is extremely gorgeous. Um, and if I was to recommend any of them, this is the one I'd go for because it just gives you that bam effect. And I think it's hard to find with a lot of highlighters because a lot of highlighters sort of seal the skin and look really powdery or look really like like, I don't know, emphasize skin text too much and can look too much, but I reckon this looks gorgeous. Like if I was wanting to dress to impress, this is a highlighter that I'd be happy to go for. But if you want something a little bit more toned down, the other ones sort of apply like this and are just as beautiful. But this what there's something special about Charlie's Glow. I don't know what it is, but it's really amazing. So I think Tanya's done a really good job with these. Um, the packaging is very sturdy and good quality. Um, the product itself is very good quality. The price, I can understand some people going, okay, it looks like not a big highlighter for $29.95, um, but having five grams of product, which is more than something like a Laura Gala highlighter, which costs more than, more than this, um, Becca highlighters in Australia are 50 odd dollars and they contain seven grams of product. So in the Australian dollar and the Australian market, this is really good. And you're also supporting an upcoming sort of brand. Like I'm very proud of her. I think she's done a very good job. Um, and I, yeah, go get Charlie's Glow because it, yeah, it's so good. I just thought I'd zoom in and show you it. So that's, hopefully you can see it. It, it is, yeah. All right, guys, that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye. I need to even myself out with that Charlie's glow. Oh my God. Put some on the nose. Yep, now I'm even Steven with that glow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm.